Welcome to another episode of Craft the Crafts and Stuff. Enjoy your time here. Boo! In this video, we'll be me unboxing and trying to use this PS Cook bow drill Hi. kit. Um, I'm going to switch the cameras now, so see you in 10 seconds. Hi. I'm back and on a different camera she's got um fire on the side here and a little picture of the bojo kit and here it says practice fictional fire skills in a primitive way learn how to make fire by yourself okay. um got like a little tab at the um at the top of the in the top of the box you get some um jute to tinder i'll put that to the side then you get the bow drill itself just here it's got um little Things to make it like thin and the rope which you know <laughs> hi stop that and then you got the fire stop and you got the balancing hi. things and you like put the end of the thingy in the little crevices and then this was that was dust onto your tinder and it, well, makes a fire, I guess. I have not used this yet, so I am excited. I forgot to add that it also comes with this, this instruction guide with full instructions on how to set up your bow drill. So we just need to get a little chunk of the Duke's Tinder, that's here, and put it, in one of these little crevices, just here. I'm gonna put it on one of these over here, I guess. Just here. I think I'll just put it there. And then I chuck it in a bit. And just set this up. Where on earth is the handle gone? I'm sitting in it. And then you can use your right hand. It's really. Well, welcome to my life. And then put it in one of these little holes. Seem to put this with your left hand. It does say on the instructions that if you are left handed, you can switch over the cords. Is that in the instructions? And just start, like, just like, something like that. You might want to put your foot on there, sort of stabilize it a bit so it doesn't fall over if it's kind of windy. And you just start, like, Backwards. You need to set it up properly so it spills, spins nice and slow and fast. And it needs to have like it wrapped up like this almost. And then we're going to try and fill this bit up with dust and see if we can get anything like a fire. Um, I'm sitting on my toes, and it hurts. Um, nothing's really happening, but the point at the bottom should be getting warm, hopefully. Because I don't want to sit here for like years, making my toe hurt. I'm just like doing it a little bit faster. When you start this, it doesn't have to go, you just have to start faster and then as time goes on, you just uh, start a little bit faster um, and then hopefully it will start to, the juke tinder will hopefully start to smoke and then eventually you'll have a fire, hopefully. My hand. 
contest. It's been half an hour and it's still not working. Look, it's not even spot. Not even a spot of dust on this. I mean, I mean, it's cold outside, but it's just not working. I don't, I mean, you can tell it's probably done something. I'll be able to tell it on the camera, but you can tell in my perspective. I don't know why, but maybe it's just too cold or not the right weather or not the right surroundings. I'm not sure it's not working. So we might switch cameras again and see what happens. I, d I don't know. It's just not working. I don't know why, it's just not working. Okay, switch cameras. I mean, the set is a good idea if you want to learn. Um, but I would advise that if you want to learn how to build a fire and you don't know how to do it, I would probably recommend getting this set. But, I mean, it didn't work for me, but it was a good, ex it was a fun experience to be honest, um, but, yeah, if, this is a good idea if you want to learn, but, I would say that, if you think you're going to be in a survival position, is that the word? Yes, um, anyway, just, if you think you're going to be in a situation where you have to survive, I would recommend just find some wood and maybe just bring some matches, I don't know. But we don't want to disappoint any of you with not seeing any flames. I'm going to show you something. This is the part where you're not going to be disappointed. I got permission from my dad to do this. He's behind the camera right now. Wave, please. I guess he's here. <laughs> <laughs> We have a loggy thing. Hi! Stop. We have a loggy thing. We have some wood. We have some mattress. Some fire lighters. And some bioethanol. I would invite you to not use to not use this bioethanol um, for just a little log fire at home because this stuff is dangerous. Um, fun fact, when you get big pieces of furniture, it's actually just little pieces of wood um, glued together because little pieces of wood are is cheaper than big pieces of wood. So they just glue, so it's actually cheaper to just glue little pieces of wood together. Let's get to the fire. Dun dun dun. this stuff with adult supervision etc um this is not don't use petrol this is just normal fire lighting fluid as you can see on the picture um i have an adult behind the camera as you probably already know i'm just going to put a little bit of on the be really careful this stuff you need to make sure oh at least we'll get flames 
Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, light it on fire now. Hair. Match. We're going to light it right on the fire lighter so then it grows really big. Wow. <laughs> damp. This, um, these are damp. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I think these are all really damp. It's just like, so because these are damp, we actually use a lighter. The reason they're damp is because the garage gets cold and we kept them in the garage. So then, like, you can't really explain it, but you can hopefully figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to light it at arm's length so it might go a bit. So I'm going to stand back a bit and I'm going to light it on the fire lighter. So then it gets going. Go on. I'm going to light this bit here. There. It's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that little grid thing? I'm gonna go see if the chimney's open. I need to make sure the chimney's open and at the moment it isn't, but it does have a few little gaps in it so this thing can get through. Can you bring the camera over here, please? So I need to turn this bit to open it up like this. Now can you see the seams coming through? Like that. And over here, this here, I have a little grid thing. If you put that on there, it's so uh, you can still feel the heat and stuff, but it doesn't get all the ashes don't come through. I'm gonna try and hook that on. So So I just found out what this is for. So it's so you can um hook onto the little um, handle on this bit, just like that. Um, and we've taken the grid off right now because we're not, sh um, we don't know if they have long. But if you have, if you're going to get one like that, just, I'm going to tell you one thing you can't shut the door without this on, with, with this on. But I'm going to end the video here because it's raining and it's getting dark and my hands are cold um but please subscribe if you haven't already if you like seeing flames and you like making fires please like the video um yeah we're gonna make sure this that thing turn dies down in a minute have a little peeky through the holes it's fire more fire. Daddy? Yeah. Please like and subscribe. One more thing I'd like to say. That plate on top, it come it came with a little kettle you can put on top to boil water or food or something. Um yeah. It's raining. So I wanna go inside now. Oh. See you soon. Bye!